Shota Imanaga. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Absolutely crushing it in Chicago this year. I know that it's kind of been the case with a lot of guys when they come over from Japan, like the pitchers, where it's like they'll have a great first season and then they won't be able to replicate that. I don't know if it's just like the league has figured them out. Um, Brian, I'll start with you. Have, do you. Did you face Shota when you were in um, Kur, uh, Japan? No, he's the one guy I didn't face. He was in the other league, and he just didn't – when we played the inner league, he just didn't pitch against us. Um, but that being said, his fastball is really good. He's got good ride on it from a low lower slot, and it's – it's just tough to, to catch up with. But I think in general, and I've said this before on here, for American hitters, the style of pitching that the Japanese pitchers have is just harder. It's different, so it's harder for us to hit until, like you said, you kind of get used to what they throw or you face them a couple times or you play a full season over there and you get a better idea. But then, then those guys who are – you know, really good, like Imanaga, um, Yamamoto, Senga, and who's the other one? Just guy, I can't even remember. But they all <clears throat> they have that velocity and those really good fastballs to go with the other stuff that you're just not used to seeing over here as you're coming up or as you're even playing in the big leagues. So it's like in the um, I said it for the uh, the World Baseball Classic. Like it's just different so it's harder for us as americans it's just a different style and when those guys have the good velocity to go with it the good fastballs it's really hard will do you think a good fastball like imanaga's is something that you think we'll be able to play long term i mean i think he, there's there's definitely an adjustment period um but i think you know there's differences between guys who throw like 96 and don't really have the command and a guy like him who you know even in you know, Japan really dominated with, you know, strikes on the corners, mixing and matching. And I think you see that from him, you know, if you watch, like if he throws a ball in the middle of his own, he knows it immediately. Right. And like, like he gave up that homer the other day and he was like, before it even like got to home plate, he was like reacting. So like he knows where the ball's going. And I think, you know, success, success in the big leagues gets you as far as your command does, I think. You know, there's very far or very few guys in the big leagues who can just go and outstuff you every day of the week, right? Like every time a guy, especially starting pitching, you know, you, you're going six plus or trying to go six plus every time. You can't just outstuff guys, you know, because I think like if you have a good sweeper, you know, an okay fastball, but you have a good sweeper and a good curveball and, a, you know, a decent changeup, you're going to go at Brian, you know, as a righty like you're probably not going to throw him that fastball many times, right? You're going to try and get him with your other stuff. Well, you face him a third time and you've got him twice with, you know, a changeup and a sweeper. He's already seen it. So now you're like, he's like, all right, I got you. And that's where, you know, unless you can really just out stuff guys with 20 vert and 97 and, you know, hammer breaking balls, like unless you've got that in the tank, like that third time through, it really gets you. And that's where I think, you know, for a among, uh, manga, a manja, um, I think that's where he is. He's going to be able to have his success because he has the command that goes with it. 